Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing with you my contouring and highlighting routine that I've kind of been doing lately. And I have some new brushes that I've been using that I wanted to share with you. I actually shared some of them in my November favorites. And I kind of just wanted to share with you guys how I go through the process of actually contouring and highlighting. There's the huge fad out there for many near years now and I kind of, I never got really into it, um, but the way I've been doing it right now, it's very, very natural. Um, so if you like a very structured contour that's very chiseled and very dramatic, um, it's not totally who I am. Um, I like very natural makeup. So I'm going to share with you guys kind of how I contour and highlight very naturally and how you get a very natural soft finish. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to be sharing some of the brushes from the Sigma Face Architect line. They have a ton of different brushes that are meant to contour and highlight with and there's just an absolute ton of them. I have four of them right here and I've been obsessed with them. I'll tell you which ones are my favorite and I'm going to show you with you guys how I use them. As you can see right now I have no contour or highlight or blush or anything on my face. I actually just have foundation, concealer, and my under eye setting powder. And that's pretty much it. And that obviously my eye makeup and my lips are done. But everything else um, we're going to do together on camera. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm actually going to be using the Anastasia Contour Kit. Um, this is in light to medium. And I'm actually going to take the shade. This is kind of what I start off with. It's the shade Fawn. It's a perfect kind of ashy contour shade and I really only go under my cheekbones right here. I don't go anywhere else. I don't do my nose or anything. I just go in the hollows of my cheek. Um, and for this I'm going to be using the F23 Soft Angled Contour. This brush, let me just take a second with this brush. It is gorgeous. It's so good for a really natural soft contour. Um, it's very fluffy. It's very soft. It's not totally tapered too thin, um, but it's not super fluffy so you don't get the precision of a contoured look or that definition that you need. Um, but it's, it's literally, it's so soft. It's like so fluffy soft um, and I, I love using it for this right here. Um, so I just take the shade Fawn um, right on my brush. And I kind of just start in the back here and I just kind of wiggle it in there. And as you can see, it doesn't, I mean, it places product very precisely, but it does it very softly. And the best part about, about this brush is when I kind of buff it in there, it just blends it out. I can turn it to its side, blend it out even more. It's just a very soft contour. It's not super structured or chiseled. Um, just gives a very very natural look so I really I just love the look that it gives um, so I'm gonna do my other side real quick really just soft very natural looking I really really love it okay so after that is done I really just like to give um, some warmth to my face and kind of bronze up my skin so I like to go in with the Bobbi Brown bronzer brush and the hourglass ambient bronzer and this is in luminous bronze light and really loving the combo of these two and I just kind of go over my contour and just give just gives a really nice warmth to the skin I'm gonna go up here on the temples as well into the forehead This brush gives a really nice diffused look um, and does a really good job of bronzing the skin. I'm also just going to pop on a little blush. This is the Benefit Rock Tour and just an angled brush from It Cosmetics. I'm just going to kind of pop a little blush on, give me a little bit of color. Okay, the next thing that I have been liking to do is I actually take this brush 
kind of dirty because I've been using it. Um, it's the F77, and this is the Chisel and Trim Contour. Now you're probably thinking this is a perfect contour brush, but I actually don't liking I don't like it to place contour on my face. I like it to actually clean up my bronzer because I can go a little crazy with my bronzer. Um, I like to just fluff it all over my face. Um, so I kind of actually go underneath here and clean it up. And what I do is I take um, two shades from this palette right here, the um, banana shade right here, and then this kind of pink matte shade. Perfect kind of light colors. And I just kind of place it underneath my contour right there. And I kind of just brush it down. And it just kind of cleans up any mess that I make um, with my bronzer and it really makes my cheekbones pop even more um, and I really like it so I just kind of go there I just kind of kind of stamp it on and then kind of just blend it down it's really easy and it's a simple way to just really give good definition to your face Like I said though, if you really do like a structured contour, it's perfect for chiseling out your cheekbones. It's perfect, um, really good for your nose as well. It's a good brush for that really structured contour. It's super soft. Um, a lot of brushes that I see like this are really, really scratchy and very dense. And this one has a lot of give to it because it is so soft. So really like that um again i just like it to kind of clean up the contour and really make my cheekbones pop even more so i've been really loving this brush too okay so i have two highlighting brushes that i really really like from the line i'm not going to use both of them but they're really good for kind of different purposes i I think I like this one just a little bit better. I actually like the combination of what I'm going to be using with this brush. And this is the Spotlight Duster. It's the F37. So it's very, very tapered and very fluffy and soft. Um, it's just very soft. So it gives a very diffused look, um, but it covers a lot of space. I kind of I kind of like it. I, I really do. Um, if you have a really chunky, glittery highlight, I don't know if I would use it with this, but for more of just a very powdery, good highlight like this one, um, this is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Highlight Powder, and oh, I love it. It's gorgeous. So we're going to use that, um, and I just kind of dust it along the tops of my cheekbones, um, just around here. And it just gives a really diffused look. As you can see, it just really gives a good light. And I just kind of dust it up my nose and up here, right there, on my chin. And yeah, that's kind of what I do with this. So really like the way this one works. I really like these two together. They're really nice. Um, and I just think it's so soft and I just like the way it applies with this one. But this one is also a really great highlighting brush. It is the High Cheekbone Highlighter F03. And the best part about this brush is it's very versatile. If you just want one highlight brush and just for powder highlighting, this is great. Um, but this brush has a lot more versatility to it. Um, you can really get a precise highlight with this with powder. You can use it with cream. Um, because it's kind of tapered, it's kind of um, a little bit denser. This one is just so fluffy. This has a little bit, it's a little more compact. It actually reminds me, where is it? It reminds me a lot of the Real Technique setting brush. They're very, they're very similar in how they work. Um, but I like this one because it is a little denser and like I said, you could do powder highlight, you could do cream highlight, um, you could blend out your concealer, you can set your concealer with powder. Um, I think the best part about this brush is you can use it with cream and powder. This one you can really just use it with powder and that's about it. But this one you can use with cream and powder, um, and you can get just a little more precise with it. So really love this brush as well um these two have been really really nice for highlighting all right you guys so that is kind of how i contour and highlight on the daily basis um and i just really like the way it looks it's very natural it's not too structured or chiseled it's very it's 
very natural looking and I like it for the everyday. It's perfect and yeah, I've been really liking the routine and I definitely love, love, love those Sigma tools. Um, the Sigma brushes are so awesome from the Face Architect line. I, I think the one brush I would definitely say you need is this one, the F23 Soft Angled Contour. This one's like the best brush out of all of them. Um, so yeah. I will leave a link if you would like these brushes for 10% off down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.